Hey, we've got the D2S Micro that we're gonna be discussing today. We released it a few weeks ago. It's on our website, available for sale. Uh, basically, the video is gonna go over what the description states, but it's gonna be a little bit easier to follow the video and hopefully you guys get a better grasp of what this unit is about, why we recommend it, what to use it for, when it's good to use it, you know, things like that. So on the left-hand side, I've got a generic H1 projector. Uh, it goes by uh, Super. 7.1, it's a really good unit. Um, it fits, uh, fits the bill for a lot of customers. It's uh, pretty impressive for its size, but you are relying on the H1 bulbs. And with any H1 projector on the market, I mean any H1 projector, a lot of the problems that people face, a lot of the inconsistencies, a lot of the long-term quirks come down to using H1 bulbs. Doesn't matter who produces it, uh, the H1 can be a quirky bulb type, and if it's not seated perfectly, a lot of customers run into uh, beam consistency issues, and uh, you know you can sit all day on the forums and the pages and decipher what's going on with the beam, but usually the problem is the aftermarket bulb, and especially with the H1 system. So D2S Micro is right in the middle. You can see it. Uh, it looks really similar to the, uh, the H1. It's kind of based on the same design. Construction and quality overall is a little bit better on the D2S Micro for sure. Uh, especially the shield design. It's important to note it's got that uh, pivoting shield versus the one that flips down and loves to get stuck. So that's, uh, that's a big deal. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing about this projector is the use of the, uh, the D2S bulb. And when you compare it to that full-size unit, we call it full-size uh, three-inch projector. That's a G5R projector that we carry. Very popular in our builds. Also shares the same design as uh, some of the other projectors on the market, like D2S 5.0. It's all variants of the same unit with small little changes. Uh, when you compare those two, you can see there is quite a bit of a size difference. I'm gonna take out that H1 projector out of the mix. We're just comparing it for size. Uh, but now you can see where the micro gets its name. It's a lot smaller, uses the same bulb, same size uh, threaded shaft. So as far as fitment on the rear end, it's gonna fit about the same and it's the front end fitment um, and the ability to, to kind of make everything really compact. So if you take a look, uh, the right is a two and a half inch lens and the left is a three inch lens. You can use uh, what's called a centric ring on the projector on the right, along with uh, other two and a half inch projectors. You can use a full size shroud and you know, to the, so the person that's not fully in tune with uh, with things, uh, it's gonna look like the same unit once the shroud is on. So, you know, when, when fitment is an issue, uh, such as a high beam projector conversion or a really tight low beam reflector, and you wanna use a smaller shroud, that's when you would use the micro. When it comes down to sheer performance, we, we notice a lot of the full size units do perform better. And, uh, you know, although the beam is gonna be a little bit different than these two units, it is important to note that you know, you're using that projector primarily because the ability to use OEM bulbs and the OEM bulbs are going to be more precise, which means your beam pattern is going to be more consistent. The alignment is better on the bulbs, unlike an H1 bulb. And uh, the long term, uh, you know, the longevity and the reliability of a system of using a Philips bulb and an Osram bulb is always going to be better. It's going to stay brighter for longer. You're not going to have the problems like you do on aftermarket bulbs when they only last a few years. Uh, you know, and we don't want you to use your bulbs for five to 10 years. We want you to change them out sooner, but the truth is they can last that long. Uh, you know, an aftermarket, you're just not gonna find that. So it's a big deal. Uh, and that's where the micro kind of fits in because if you're gonna use the micro, if you're thinking about the micro, but you're like, you know what? I don't wanna spend too much money on the bulbs and you know, it's not for you. It's really for the person that wants to extract the most performance out of a compact projector, use it up to match in a quad projector conversion, um, you know, it has a, has a very specific uh, void to fill in this marketplace, and that's what makes the Micro unique. Uh, we're going to compare it with the performance of the G5R in this case. Just some output shots, uh, no readings. We know that the uh, larger projectors are going to produce some better results. And uh, the R from us is a, is a really good unit. We'll see how it stacks up against the D2S Micro. And you can see for yourself the beam characteristics that you expect uh, from uh, from a smaller unit, you're gonna be pretty surprised uh, the way this, this performs. So one thing to note about the G5R, it's very, it's got very, very good intensity, but a lot of customers state there is a bow in the beam pattern, and that's all with the optical design uh, of the whole setup. Um, 
it, they, the G5R gets its intensity because the hotspot, uh, the shield placement in relation to the bulb is a little bit different and therefore you get that bow. So other projectors on the market, um, you know, they might not have the intensity, but they're a little bit straighter to the side. So I'm kind of running out of wall space here, but you can see the lower projector, that's a D2S Micro, it has more of like a V, camera's picking up funny things right now, but it's got more of like a V hotspot. And the G5R is a little bit tighter, more of like a band toward the uh, the cutoff line. But if we look at the extreme edges of the beam pattern, you can see the D2S Micro carries over really, really cleanly and straight versus the, the G5R, and this is the same thing on the BRT, on the EXL, it sort of dies off a little bit. And to most customers, it's not a big deal, but we do have some customers that make complaints that you know, they really don't like the bowing. They love the performance, but they just don't like the bowing. Um, and you can see this is a really, really impressive uh, performance out of that small compact unit. And it's primarily due to the design. It's really sharp, it's really nice, but mostly to the use of the OEM bulbs. If we put an uh, aftermarket bulb in there right now, and you're comparing it to the Ostrom Nightbreaker laser, which is what we have uh, brand new out of the box on both of these units, you're gonna be disappointed uh, in comparison. But, you know, this kind of gives you a, a one-up on the, you know, on a larger full-size projector without the, you know, without taking up too much space. So. Again, very specific, uh, you know, fitment in the marketplace. You know, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Hopefully we covered everything uh, about this new unit and uh, we're definitely excited about it. Uh, the more, uh, more we see it used, it seems to, uh, seems to fit the bill for a lot of people. Uh, tag us in whatever you got. If you wanna give it a shot, uh, check, out, check out the unit on the website. We'd love to uh, hear from you, all right? Thanks again.